So uh, I want to quickly talk about durability um, of the HTC One M8 and something I've already noticed. The metal on the casing, this, this aluminium shell, is rather soft. Now, you're going to struggle to see this, I'm afraid. I'm going to try and do my best, but it's a very, very, very tiny pit mark. And it's just around here, and I, don't, I honestly don't think you're going to be able to see it properly. It, it's almost just the, the sort of head of a pin kind of stuff. But let's just see if we can just bring this in a little bit more so you can see it. I think we're going to struggle, I'm afraid. From here, yeah. Now, unfortunately, I can't show it to you. It's so small, it's really, really difficult to actually um, you know, get onto camera, unfortunately. But just around here is a very, very small pit mark, just where my finger is. I'm just gonna keep trying to angle this just on the off chance. And to be fair, we don't even know how we did it, but we know it wasn't there when we uh, originally got the device. Um, the only thing I can think of is that as I've been obviously testing this with the case, this rubbishy case that HTC gives us off, um, and filming that we've just knocked it slightly. Now, we saw something very similar on the HTC One M7. Uh, the aluminium really did like to uh, pick up tarnish quite easily and little chips and so on. So what I would really suggest here is you're gonna want a decent, durable case for it for the simple reason that this does appear to be a metal that is rather on the soft side being aluminium, etc., uh, as kind of to be expected. Uh, but ultimately, if you want to keep this device in absolute pristine condition, you're going to want to get a case on it, because uh, so far what I've seen, it is a little bit prone to picking up some marks. Bit of a shame, but it's what we kind of expected. And ultimately, you know, it's a trade-off, isn't it? If you want a polycarbonate, well, all right, it's probably not going to pick up lots of marks and scratches. They're quite scratch resistant. If you want aluminium, well, I'm afraid you're going to have scratches and marks. You can't, unfortunately, blend the best elements of both currently. Hmm, there's a new business model for someone. First person to blend polycarbonates and aluminium and make it look like aluminium, but have the durability of polycarbonate. Ugh. You'd make a fortune off Apple. Um, but anyway, my, my point is simply this. Um, be concerned slightly that you are using aluminium, it is soft, and it is prone to scratches, marks, and dents. Do get a decent case on there, and hopefully you'll keep it in tip-top condition for just a little bit longer. We hope you enjoyed this video. Do please remember to like and comment, and if you'd like to, please subscribe. You can also visit our website and download our Android app. If you do subscribe, you'll be getting a daily dose of the latest tech news, hardware reviews, Android games, consoles, and basically an honest opinion direct from the UK. Stay tuned, stay Androidism.